Taylor's aircraft looks really cool at first glance. They're often adopted in next generation aircraft, even in SF. Today, I'm here to share some tips for creating a tailless aircraft that works well in Kerbal Space Program. But before we dive into that, I'm using FAR and Atmosphere Autopilot. Typically, in KSP, if you just create a tailless aircraft, it tends to spin in the yaw direction and eventually crash. Especially when you try to roll, this becomes more pronounced. To understand this, here is a simple explanation. The principle of rolling occurs when the lift on one wing becomes greater than the other, causing it to roll. The vertical wings control, yaw, and prevent side spinning. However, tailless aircraft lack vertical wings, leading to spinning. For easier understanding, let's bring in the F-14. First, let's just fly it normally. Yes, it's flying well. Now, let's remove the vertical wings properly and give it a try. One side of the aircraft starts to lift, then it begins to rotate in the yaw direction. Oh, this is not good. Yes, so the key point is, we need something to replace the yaw control which provided by vertical wing. I categorize them into three main methods. Method one, slightly, tilt the wingtips. This method is probably something many of you have tried before. By making the wingtips closer to vertical, it starts to look like a Talus's aircraft. However, I want to propose another method instead of this one. Method 2. Use spoilers to control yaw. When you install FAR, it provides options to activate pitch and yaw control on spoilers. Enabling this option allows you to use spoilers for actual yaw control. Now, let's take the B-2 as our test case for today. It's a typical large tailless aircraft. First, let's fly without using these spoilers. Oh, it takes off smoothly, but eventually starts to veer sideways. Ah, this is not good. Let's try that again. This time, with the yaw option of the spoilers activated. You'll notice that whenever the aircraft tends to spin slightly, the spoilers are activated. Actual B2 employs a more complex system but it essentially uses this type of yaw control. I usually employ this method for large aircraft like the B-2 since they generate a lot of lift from the wings, making it more efficient than the method I'm about to introduce. Now, let's move on to the third method. Use TVC, thrust vector control. Thrust vector control, TVC, might sound complex, but for all of you playing KSP, you might know it as gimbal. By using engines with gimbal control, I prefer the Panther engine. Yaw control for tailless aircraft can be achieved. Let's take Saver, a tailless fighter with a sleek design that I like, as an example. Now, when you activate the gimbal and fly it, yes, it's just performing aerobatics. This might vary from aircraft to aircraft. When you turn off the gimbal, that's right, it starts to spin in. In the case of Saver, it seems to be more dependent on engine control. Anyway, using TVC makes it easier to create tailless aircraft. However, there are a few things to you have to know in this method. First, dual engines are more greater than a single engine. From my experiments, aircraft with two engines were more stable in flight than those with a single engine. Perhaps because the gimbal controls not only yaw but also other directions, it seems more so. Second, use engines with three-dimensional vectoring Engines like the F-22 with two-dimensional vectoring make yaw control impossible. Therefore, use engines like the Panther with three-dimensional vectoring. Third, good thrust-to-weight ratio is essential. For aircraft using only the third method, thrust-to-weight ratio is important. Since it suppressed spin with engine thrust, a low thrust-to-weight ratio increases possibility of aircraft spin. This also means that in high-speed situations, 
sudden loss of speed can lead to the spin. Therefore, in the case of the third method, the aircraft shape ultimately determines its efficiency. Before ending, I'd like to introduce a few mods. Atmosphere Autopilot. This mod implements fly-by-wire in KSP. It helps provide more delicate control over the aircraft, rather than relying on KSP's crock and drive, SAS. It also allows for aircraft-specific settings. More info can be found on the forums. Procedural wings. If you use FAR, KSP's existing parts might not always be conducive to receiving lift. Furthermore, even if you make such shapes, while stock needs thousand parts, for those like you, the procedural wings mod allows you to create wings in almost any shape you can think of. There's also a counterpart called procedural parts. Check it out. By following all these steps, you might soon be able to create an aircraft that doesn't immediately spin. However, remember, it will require numerous trial and revert to hangar. But as you continue, I believe you can create your own cool designs. Well then, see you next time.